Hey everybody, this is Ori from AstroWeb, and today I'm going to showcase to you how to use the two-factor authentication to protect your backend admin logins. So first of all, I want to show you what is two-factor authentication, and then I'll show you some of the basic setups you have. And just note that from Magento 2.4, two-factor authentication is turned on by default, which means every single login has to have this. This is a good thing for security. So let's jump into the video, okay? So first of all, what is two-factor authentication? So one-factor authentication is when you go to the back end and you log in with your username and your password. This is the regular method that everybody's used to using accounts online on the internet. Now, in order to make better security, we add a second factor for authentication. So for example, I'm using my phone right here. And what I have is I have an app installed on my phone that after I log in successfully with my username and password, I'm gonna have a second password that's gonna go out. So let me show you how it looks. So first of all, I have an account here with my demo store and I'm clicking on sign in. If I logged in successfully with this, instead of just logging into the back end of Magento, I have a second one and it says, hey, use two-factor authentication 2FA using Google Auth, which is one app, which we'll talk about. And I need to go to my app itself and I need to basically go to my app and get another code which changes every 30 seconds. So I'm gonna to go to my app right here and I have a code, for example, and this is gonna change every 30 seconds, okay? So if I input that correctly, then I'm logged into Magento backend, okay? So let's look at the setting for a second then I'll show you everything about the app, etc. So first of all, if I go here to settings, uh, store configuration, and I'm gonna go to security. And uh, this is, again, is turned on by default. So in security, you're gonna have the two-factor authentication. Now, what are the basic settings? They're very, very simple things right here. So first of all, it's going to uh, have a general tab which, show, which allows the administrator to set up what types of apps do you allow your admin users to use. Google Authenticator, Duo Security, uh, hardware keys and other things. So uh, for me personally, I like using the software, either Google Authenticator or Authy. These are basic things. So let me show you um, some screenshots of how it looks. So Google Authenticator and Authy work very similar. They're just different brands, different apps that you install on your phone. And what they do is, this is for example, an app. And how they look is they have a list of all the apps that you've added your two-factor authentication. So for example, we'd have one for Magento, for example. And then what you do is you're gonna basically scan the code. So um, one second, let me show you one second. So what you do is you basically, you're gonna add a new one for Magento. And whenever you click on the app itself, the Magento, you're gonna have a code, a six digit code that changes every 30 seconds. And what you're gonna do is when, before it changes, you're gonna take this code and you're gonna input it into the login, which we just saw before. Okay, so what other things are here? So depending on the apps you enabled, you have some basic settings. Most of the time you don't need to change this, um, but you'll have some things just in case you need to. For example, if you use an API key for Authy for Duo Security. Now Authy, for example, also supports Google Authenticator, so um, you can do that. But if you, um, base, these are just basic advanced settings, so we're not gonna get into it this video. Okay, so for example, if I enabled it, I click on save. So now what is gonna happen? So the first time a user, an admin user is logged in, they're gonna be prompted to do these steps. So I'm gonna sign out. I'm gonna log in as a new user that doesn't have two-factor authentication. Okay, and I'm gonna log in as Ori. Okay, so the first time you log in, it basically, Magento says, okay, I need, I'm going to send you an email to activate your two-factor authentication, okay? So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go to my email and I'm gonna receive an email right here and it says two-factor authentication confirmed. So there's a link here, I need to click on it. I need to click on the link and the, the Magento just sent me an email, I clicked on the link and now there's a huge QR code right here, okay? This QR code, I'm gonna take my phone and what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna show you on the screenshot, I'm gonna go to my app, I'm gonna click on add a new account. This is one time I need to do this. And I'm gonna do this on my app, okay? And then once I do that, I'm gonna see this, this screen right here. And it's gonna say, hey, please scan a QR code. I'm gonna click on scan, and now my phone camera is gonna turn on, and I'm gonna scan it. Okay, now that I scanned it, I'm gonna see this screen right here, which I can specify the name. So I can specify Magento uh, admin for Ori, okay? And I'm gonna click on save, 
And when I save that, now I'm going to basically see the number here. It's going to say Magento for me, or actually have a screenshot, for example, and it's going to have my number. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to log in. So for example, my number is, let's see here. Okay, my number is, let me just type this in. Okay, and this number changes every 30 seconds. Okay, if I've done that successfully, now I'm logged in. That's it. That is the two-factor authentication. So every single time I log in, I need to input that second password, basically, this two-factor, the second-factor authentication. That's really simple. If you guys have issues with this, please contact me. Uh, leave messages, comments on YouTube. Uh, if you have developer and you have some issue, maybe someone lost their phone or something like that, you can always have the administrator go to the server, do some command lines to reset your two factors to turn it off. These are outside the video uh, for today, but it's simple one line code on the command line code on the server uh, to disable, renew, uh, you know, things like that. So that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed. Please do security well. Um, and let me know if you have any questions with anything Magento e-commerce related. Uh, thank you guys for listening to the video.